All right, it's uh, Dr. Jeff here. Uh, I have some thoughts about the, the Montreal Expos and their fate. And uh, I'm not going to rehash the whole history of the Expos and really how Major League Baseball screwed the Expos. Um, I really kind of blame Major League Baseball because they oversaw everything that transpired uh, with the Expos, but I'm going to put all the blood, the bad blood behind, and um, I read about, uh, you know, the concept of trying to bring the Expos back to Montreal, and it, it appears that economically it's not feasible to, uh, to have an expansion team and build the infrastructure that Major League Baseball deems necessary and requires. So, I was thinking about this and I came up with this concept that how about we bring back the Montreal Expos, but to hell with the stadium. It seems that the stadium is, is, uh, is the sticking point that, uh, the cost of building the stadium is, is just not possible. So I came up with the idea, forget the stadium. How does it work? So, an LLC is formed or whatever the the legal entity is, the partnership that uh, purchases an expansion team and they get the Montreal Expos. But instead of building a $50,000 opulent American-like uh, stadium for the Canadian consumer, we say to hell with that. We will build a state-of-the-art uh, Major League Baseball park and maybe we'll have somewhere between five and 10,000 VIP luxury seats and maybe some suites. We will sell every single seat to uh, Quebec and Canadian corporations who, who have an interest. They will own all the seats and they'll own the suites and they will be able to do with the seats and the suites as they, um, want to. So we're going to build this beautiful ballpark. We're going to have an amazing clubhouse for the Expos. We're going to overcompensate. They're going to have the greatest clubhouse in baseball. We're going to overcompensate for the players. Um, and, and we're going to make the Montreal Expos uh, a for television product, an internet product, a cyber product, an e-product, whatever you want to say. Um, we don't need the stadium. To hell with the stadium. I guarantee you that uh, if Quebecers were pulled or Canadians were pulled, they would love the concept. They would take the Expos back without a ginormous stadium. And, you know, there's 81 home baseball games. So during the course of the 81 games, the parents and the children would be able to go. Uh, the 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 regular folk would be able to go. It may cost a little more, but people would be happy to pay because they're getting baseball back. Look, I'm speaking here from Phoenix, Arizona, from Scottsdale. I'm a Canadians fan. I don't go to the home Canadian games because I don't live there, but I'm still a big fan. In today's era of you know, fantasy sports and uh, television content and uh, and sports through the internet, you don't necessarily need to be present anymore to watch a sporting event. So um, I would ask the principals, the leaders in Quebec, in Montreal, who are interested in bringing the Expos back to to put a feasibility study. Can, can a baseball park be built? Can the Expos play in front of seven to 10,000 people. I say, yes, anything's possible. If you're gonna split between Tampa and Montreal, anything's possible. And Major League Baseball owes the province of Quebec and owes the city of Montreal any concessions to get the Expos back. And I mean that. Um, I'm still sore about 1994 uh, and so on and so forth. I won't get into that. but. I believe that if presented, uh, Major League uh, Baseball would make a concession and allow the Expos uh, to exist, 
to come back to Montreal to be an expansion team and to play in a small ballpark. And I believe, and I'm no financial whiz, that there are um, revenues available in this model. There's naming rights for the ballpark. Uh, there's there's um, um, uh, television rights, viewing rights. I think it's there. Um, so that's my concept. If building this ginormous infrastructure stadium is the sticking point, to hell with the Farcucta Stadium. We don't need a bloody stadium, fans. We just want an Expos team to follow, to watch those of us who are not in Montreal. Um, and it's okay to have a small ballpark. Look, uh, in two nights, uh, our home team Coyotes are going to start playing in a 5,000 seat arena. Everyone's knocking it that that's insane. But let me tell you something. What if you're one of the 5,000 people? Can you imagine you can hear the players talking? You can, you can smell their sweat. You're so close to the action. It's phenomenal. The best days of the Expos are still, in my opinion, Jerry Park. So that's my concept. Uh, bring back the Expos, but um, forget the big stadium. Build an amazing major league park with some suites and some VIP seats for about 7,500 to 10,000 fans. It'll work. I believe it can work. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'm out.